So with me now we have Huron, is it? Spelt the same like? Huron. 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 Yes. Yeah. And how did you come up with that name? Um, see, it was a name that was sort of was already there before Steve and I joined. I'm, so we weren't sure whether it was to do with the lake or the um, like the last of the Mohicans. Yeah. Um, turns out it was from that one. Pretty cool name. So when did you all meet? We've known each other for years. Yeah, um, st like Steve came into the band last year because I've known, um, well Steve and I have worked together for on and off for the last 10 years or so. Um, Rowan and I met in another band. Dave and Rowan used to play in another band. We're basically now a bunch of bands who have come together, Sean being the only original member left in <laughs> Huron. And yeah, um, when a couple years ago when they were looking for a new bass player and guitar player, like a second guitar player, that's when Rowan and I sort of jumped ship from the death metal band that we were in. Came on board with these guys. Eventually Neil had to leave because of back problems and that's when we got Steve in. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, what instrument do you play? I play guitar and guitar. Uh, now we started doing some backing vocals within the band as well. So it's got some strange little folk harmonies going on as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, trying some new Alice in Chainsy style yeah. stuff. Yeah, like because we've uh, not stepping away from the death metal thing per se, because we've sort of gone from quite a groovy Pantery <laughs> style <laughs> thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's all right. Carry on. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, we were, so we Chainsy sound. Yeah, with the vocals and. Um, just more melodic. Yeah, regressing and... back on the heaviness, trying to focus a little bit more on melody. Like, because we've got four vocalists in the band, so we're trying to utilise all of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, you played today at uh, 10 past 2, main stage. Mm -hmm. How did you get into this gig? Uh, well, we've done, we think it was Hammerfest 2, the first time we were up here, where we were, when it was back in the Pontins. We were on stage three in the pub. Then a couple of years later, we did the sister festival at Hard Rock Hell. And we did stage two, and we were on at like nine o'clock in the evening. Great slot, really, really busy. And from there, I think we've just stepped up naturally. It's been a nice, natural progression over the last few years. I just think. snuck in. <laughs> yeah, you just snuck in. <laughs> no, cheeky we've ways. Been to this venue before, then? No, we've never been no. here. Because no. it was here last year as well, was it? Yeah. It'd be interesting to see your point of view on the two venues. Everyone we've spoken to so far, like we've seen Matt Hill from Metal Gods and that wandering around, everyone's saying this sound is great. So I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, you released a new album last year, didn't you? Oh, we had, an, we had an EP out last year. We were trying to get a, a full length out at the end of last year. We had some lineup changes and some difficulties. Yeah. Uh, recruiting a new guy so the main focus of this year is getting the new album out the new album's gonna drop in October November no end of October end of October. beginning of November <laughs> around that time anyway around that time <laughs> have you started record you've obviously started recording you are you in the mastering stage now eh? pretty much yeah. we're just down to a couple vocal tracks left to do and then it'll just be off to mix and mastering like we've got the album art sorted we've got uh, Mark Rudolph did the artwork, who's done work with Orange Goblin, King Diamond, uh, Napalm Death, Death yeah. Terrorizer magazine and stuff. Really, really cool old school cartoony style art. I think, I think it's, you can see that on our Facebook. I think it's yeah, there. Yeah, it's on there. It? Yeah, really cool comic type thing. Is it your cover photo or something? I, th I think it's probably just somewhere in our photos. It's somewhere there. <laughs> I was just reading here, you've, uh, you've released a charity single. Uh, sound quite well. What was that all about? Um, between all of us in the band, we all know people who've served in the forces, and some of us know people who have come out worse on the other side of it. Because what you find is soldiers and stuff spend months and months and months and years even being trained, being coached to be in those situations, and when they come home, they're not quite prepared to get back into normal life you can't just you can't yeah and um, tragically we know someone who took their own life because they couldn't yeah. handle 
coming back into the real world, if you know what I mean. So we're releasing this to just try and do everything we can to help them do what they do. That's very admirable. And we've got uh, a singer called Melanie McLaren, nice girl we know, who we've played with a few times, who lives up in Dartington, I think, the Dartington Durham kind of area. She's got a cracking voice and we saw videos of her covering the original version of Eternal Sea. So we thought it'd be a really cool idea to duet with her, if you would. And I think she's brought a real cool level to the song, like real nice harmonies that bounce off each other. They're not like strict linear harmonies that you'd expect. They move around and counterpoint each other. And I think it's brought a whole new life to the song. And I mean, I didn't play on the original, but I remixed and remastered it. So I got my foot in there somehow, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm interested. Are you gonna play that uh, new set today? Well, obviously you can't because the vocals aren't here. But no, can you we do your own version. We won't be doing it tonight. We're looking to add it into the set at some point in some the future. Point, yeah. yeah, like we got to think you about got five the... singers after all. <laughs> <laughs> got... Some of us sound like a girl. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the, this guy is one of the best acoustic guitar players I've ever seen. Like I did try. <laughs> it's never quiet when he's around because he's always playing his Marvin Gaye tracks. And <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, we did this festival last year, uh, Hangar Fest, and we, we pr <laughs> yeah we pretty much took over the open mic stage. <laughs> we just went in and we got a little bit trolleyed and did some death metal versions of Marvin Gaye and <laughs> so Sean, Sean drunk, jumped up drunk and then just I was just about to sing it but Sean literally just flagged the microphone off me and just like I'm really drunk baby it was hilarious it was brilliant <laughs> I don't think he remembers doing it <laughs> <laughs> you must have fun on tour right it's it's the only reason we do it you know everyone who's in a band everyone who pretty much supports the scene these days know there's no money in bands or anything like that so we just do it for the love of it I've not toured with you guys yet. I've only done like a few gigs every now and again. But maybe a mini tour. Well, you've just been announced to do Out of the Ashes Festival as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we've got... We've got one there, Rain of Fury. Yeah, some good Kinda friends. Collapse are on there as well. These ones. Who would you... I mean, I've not been, had the pleasure of seeing you guys play yet, so... Out of them lot, who would you say you're similar to? Defcon 1, Kai Decker, well, here on your headline it. I mean, who do you respect out of that list there? Oh, Rain of Fury are top, top guys, really yeah. good guys. Everything they've done with Headbangers Balls, we've played with them a couple of times. They're all so sound guys. Um, I really, personally, I don't know the guys, but I really rate This Is Turin. Yeah, yeah they're, they're doing really well up in their scene up north. Where are you guys from? Uh, we couldn't be further south, we were in Plymouth. Oh really? <laughs> and Rowan's actually from Truro. <laughs> Do you know uh, a guy called uh, Rob, Rob Nankerville, Shoot Plymouth? Has he managed to catch you guys on set yet? Rob He'll be Lank here no. no. I'll have to introduce you guys. Okay. Yeah, he's a cool. Plymouth based photographer. Oh I? Yeah, and he's someone that I respect quite a lot. And if, he, if, he, if you lot do a lot of gigs down that way, I mean he shoots a white rabbit, yeah, yeah, he, right there. yeah. We've done a few like support slots there. Um, he's pretty might have seen us around. Might have. Well, I'll sure. have to. I'll have to introduce you. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's always good to have coverage, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you oh, can't beat coverage. In this business, man, it's who you know, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> Everything's yeah. who you know. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So who who would you, who who have you got in your phone lists? You know. The most, per the most famous or most oh, influential person that. in your phone list. We Come on. I can't <laughs> tell you that. Um, we've got a cool one. We've got a couple of cool ones. Like we've got Psy Keeler from Onslaught. Um, Seven Webster, Skindred's manager. Like a, couple, a couple of cool names. Psy <laughs> a cool guy. Yeah, very, very cool guy. I like, love that um, track he did with... Um, Fall in fate. Fall in fate. Yeah, yeah dude, we played a guest vocal on it, didn't he? On that pendulum track. Oh. Yeah, uh, we played the Fall in Fate a bunch of times. They're all real sound guys. Yeah. Like we are. I like Lee Skinner to. And I'm, sorry. Lee Skinner. Yeah, yeah, and Piers. Uh, Piers is a really good guitar player. Like I really rate him. Fellow ginger. 
fellow GM, <laughs> fellow guitar teacher, yeah. like, it's like, maybe you should, maybe you should write a song, like Evil Twin. <laughs> so when did you arrive? Have you seen any acts before? No, no. We, we, no we, probably about half an hour ago. Oh really? So, yeah, we got stuck on the road, we had no idea where we were going. It's going to be a nightmare to get here though. Left Plymouth at half past three this morning. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not, I don't feel too bad actually. I guess I'm still buzzing because I want to get on stage. It's going to be cool. Waiting for the coffee well, You've got a nice, in. relatively early set. So yeah. Who else on the bill tonight are you looking forward to seeing? Creator. Creator. Definitely here for Creator. It'd be cool to catch up with uh, Breed 77 again. Mm hmm. Yeah, guys. Yeah. And it's, they've got the original vocalist with them today as well. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, that's Because it's their like, 10th anniversary tour of one of our albums. I can't remember which one. But. So Rui Lopez has been ditched. <laughs> <laughs> Only for now. I'll tell you what, he's got a cracking <laughs> He's wicked. We saw him at Rock and Metal. It's brilliant. Oh, you were at Rock and Metal, sir? We were, yeah. And so, and Breed headlined that night, didn't they? Yeah, we were on two before Breed. Yeah. Well, I must have photographed you guys before then. Because I was there, and I photographed every band. Oh. Yeah, I think we. Maybe. I think we've got those photos, man. JJ Photography UK. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. If not, I'll have to dig them out and send them to you. Okay. Because I, I I saw every band there, but I don't recognise you guys. There was only one stage there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, we've all slept since then. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but... <laughs> we were quite smashed when we played as well, weren't we? But we still played all right. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, Louis from the Florentine Camerata uh, depping in on the drums for us at that one as well, so yeah. it was a slightly different lineup. What did you think of that festival? I thought it was really, really well put on. I mean, it's going to be a festival by the people for the people, and I can, it's, o it's only going to get bigger. It is going to, I think it's going to change venue as well, haven't they now? So it's bigger already. It's at the hangar in Northampton, right? I think so, yeah. It's going to be. But yeah, and like I've, I've seen nothing but positive reviews about it as well, about the, the organisers, the promoters, and I think all the bands who played as well did a real good job promoting it and plugging it. Which, which uh, festivals haven't you played yet that you'd like to play? I think. What's it for you? Well, you guys played Download before I joined, and I was like, I really wish I wanted to. I really wish <laughs> I was on that. Play Download. I hate that one. Well, the guys, the guys played, and I, I wasn't in the band at that point. Uh, where did you watch stage? Uh, the... We were on the takeover stage on yeah, the yeah. Thursday night. Yeah. Um, what year was it? 2012. 12, yeah. 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 We, we played with Seven Deadly, and. Oh, who else, who else played? Because we didn't get a chance to catch up with them. You know, we always try and meet as many other bands on the bill as we can, sort of touch base. It's always good to know people. I, I think that might have been... Because it's very know. difficult to get onto the download bill. Did you have to send them promo stuff? Did you have to send them all your tracks? Or did someone come watch a gig and say, actually, I'm going to have you for download? I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. No, I, I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. I mean, I just kind of got yeah. the news and I was like, Ugh. shit the bed, we're playing Download. <laughs> was it a great experience? Yeah, I mean, that was the first time we'd ever played such a big crowd. I mean, that was three and a half thousand people for us and that was, oh, this is what we do this for. Um, if I could do anywhere it'd be Hellfest I'd go I'd play in the car park I'd, do, <laughs> I, I'd just go just for the atmosphere everyone I know goes goes as like a sort of family holiday because they the experience France. they have there yeah they, <laughs> <laughs> they just have such a good time you know the weather's always so good and when it does rain they do shit about it as well which we can't always say gets done over here at the UK festivals so what sort of stuff do they do out there help with the weather because obviously download when I went a couple of years ago you're walking through mud was that 2012 yeah that was fucking tragic man oh. <laughs> mate I was knackered getting from stage one to stage two it took about an hour no we were in the fucking brown camp as well so. <laughs> I couldn't get any brown I couldn't <laughs> no and it was like five light years away from the stage we were on as well um, but no I think they um, actually put like steel plates down on the grass and stuff when it's muddy I've never been to Hellfest, and I know loads of people that are going, and it sold out relatively quick, didn't it? I mean, I think they've said everyone who's anyone's on that bill, really. 
I know you're not, but... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, an that's an oversight, that's an oversight. But you'd like to play there? Yeah, like, I'd play any stage, any time. So do you know the organisers? I don't personally, but we there may be a couple of guys in the band so who do. So we'll try and get this video over to them and uh, <laughs> see if we can get you on the health edge, Bill. We love you. <laughs> we love you come to France. Let <laughs> <laughs> the bad bits and put the good bits in. <laughs> Thank you. I trust you. I trust your decision. Make us look good. Yeah, no, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> so have you got many more interviews today? Yeah, we missed two this morning because of the twat nav issue, so we tried to... Rearrange. Yeah, we're going to catch up with Matt from that later on. That's very admirable, admirable of you again. That's the second time you've been very admirable. It's very rare to find people like that in the music industry these days. You Some people don't even fucking turn up and bother to tell you. You learn a lot from touring and... Um, Managers don't cost anything, does it? <sighs> no, and if you... If you you know, if you don't treat people right, you're not going to get treated right. And word yeah. spreads quickly because everybody knows each other. That, like, you said, you know, guys down in Plymouth, like, and where are you based? Derby. So, <laughs> anywhere in between, everyone still knows each other, and people will talk about everybody. Like, I wasn't, like, you know, the guys in Fallen Fate. That's really cool. Um, I know Seven Deadly. I just bought their new album, which is pretty cool. So yeah, if you, if, well, if you, how can I say this, if you're not, if you're assholes about it, you're going to get yeah. treated like assholes, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. No point. Well, it's nice to see. I hope you have a great set. It's been great talking to you. Thank you very much. Well, I just want to thank thank you very much, Chief. You take no it easy. Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers guys.